Now that all power generating plants will be managed as well as owned by government, the expectation will be that power tariffs come down faster because government is not into the business of making profits. However, that is not about to happen, at least not so soon. This is because for most of these power plants, the money that built them is debt to creditors. But if we had actually completed the repayment of those debts, we would be witnessing a, a situation where the utility tariffs would be coming down uh, drastically and becoming more affordable. You have heard about this thing that our power tariffs are too high. Uh, it's largely because uh, we cannot finance this infrastructure ourselves alone. We have to go to friends and borrow from them. So the borrowing has a cost, you know, to it. So consequently, we, um, in paying these costs, the tariffs has to go up uh, slightly. But we look at a very, uh, the outlook is very good um, as we service all these debts. The tariffs are bound to come down. For the buy of all the power produced from all generation, Uganda Electricity Transmission Company, things are looking up, at least going by the numbers. We have seen the assets of EGCL growing from 7 trillion to 7.2 trillion. So it's not a small company anymore. You know, that asset base is quite big. And we have also seen revenues growing from 169.7 billion shillings last year uh, to 210.9 billion uh, in 2022. So a growth of 24.3% in terms of revenues. The profits, the operating profit, has also grown from 54.7 billion to 66.3 billion shillings. So. The question of high persistent power tariffs will not be sorted by government taking over the entire electricity value chain alone. But something must be done about making sure that most or all the power produced is actually consumed. Rachel Navisubi, NTV Business.